Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Lee gives Finn and Steffi shocking news at the morgue and Cleric does damage control moment on the bold and the beautiful, Hope worries about her pater. And his business, Deacon wants answers and Steffi and Lee decide Sheila killed Tom and Hollis. At the morgue, Lee tells Finn and Poppy that both Tom and Hollis failed of an overdose. The same medicine was set up in both of their systems. Poppy gasps, that's so awful, as Lee muses, it's not an accident. She says they were killed, and she knows exactly who did it. Poppy asks, who? Lee says, you know exactly who I am talking about, Penelope. Lee continues that it's egregious. Poppy does not understand. Lee thinks it's clear. These two men came in regular contact with an unstable woman who has a history of violent felonious jest. Sheila Carter killed those men. Finley Poppy BNB at Forrester, Ridge, Brooke, Hope, and Steffi read the reports on Hollis' death. Ridge remarks that this might take a bite out of Deacon's pizza business. Brooke says they reprobing and canvassing the other workers. Steffi feels there's one hand they should be questioning first. It's not hard to connect the blotches and figure out who's behind this. Hope says her pater. Wants to know how this happened further than anyone. Steffi asks, indeed if his woman. S behind it? Hope points out Tom failed of an overdose. Steffi says Sheila hurts people still she can. Brooke backs her up. Sheila's able of anything. Hope is forced to agree. Tom and Hollis could have failed because of Sheila. At I.L. Giardino, Deacon is on the phone saying he LL cooperate with the police. He prides himself on running a high-class establishment and will ain't let this go. He vows to find out what happened because Tom and Hollis were ain't just workers, but also his musketeers. Sheila listens to the call. He slams the phone down and complains to his woman. That the press are predators. This is ain't going to be good for the eatery. He feels sick over losing his musketeers and wants answers. I want to know what the hell happened. Cleric Sheila BNB Sheila coaxes Deacon not to let the journalist get to him. He'd nothing to do with this. Deacon argues that it's his eatery. What the hell happened to Hollis? Sheila assures him he gave them attention, care, and respect. Deacon agonizes that Tom said he was clean and also he overdosed. It doesn't make sense. He wonders if Hollis was sick or just in the wrong place at the wrong time. We've no idea how Hollis failed. At the morgue, Lee warns her son not to defend Sheila. Finn admits he was allowing the same thing. Poppy agrees that she has a shocking history. Finn warns they see Aunt say that what happened to Tom and Hollis was not accidental. Medicines kill. Lee says, so does Sheila. She reminds him she shot him and Steffi and ran her off the road and left her to die. I'm absolutely certain that Sheila Carter boggled those two men. Finley BNB at Forrester, Ridge recaps that everyone advised Cleric about getting involved with Sheila. Steffi says he doesn't earn an ounce of sympathy or understanding. Getting near to Sheila, you reinviting chaos into your life. Brooke's sure he realizes it now. Steffi says Finn is at the sanitarium with Lee, who's overseeing Hollis' necropsy. There's no mistrustfulness in her mind that Sheila is behind this and this time, Sheila will pay. At I.L. Giardino, Sheila tells Deacon he's asking her effects she see a and answer. Cleric can see she's shaken too. She says it's sad what happened to Tom and Hollis, but the deaths could be unconnected. It's possible that these were just two woeful accidents. Deacon says they LL know soon enough. He's starting to suppose that the deaths were anything but an accident. At the morgue, Lee repeats her assertion that Sheila is responsible for the men's deaths. Finn admits it's possible that she was involved. It's worth looking into. Lee says that's exactly what she's going to do. She announces she's going over to the eatery to defy that madwoman. Finn cautions that there's no substantiation tying her taught his, however, he ll go with her, if she insists on going. Lee will ain't let him undermine his marriage. 
Just also, Steffi knocks and enters cautiously and asks about how Hollis failed. Lee says, just like Tom Starr. Hollis was boggled by Sheila. Finley Steffi BNB at Forrester, Hope flashes to Deacon telling her she means the world to him, but so does Sheila. She thinks about her pater. S marriage as she reflects on Steffi and Ridge's assertion that Sheila killed those men. Brooke suddenly asks how she's doing. Hope says she's upset about her pater. And the eatery. It's heartbreaking what happened to Hollis, who failed each alone. She wants to understand why this happened. Ridge barks that they all know what happened, her father let Sheila into his life. Hope says her father will want concrete evidence before he entertains the idea that Sheila is responsible. Ridge does and suppose he ll believe what's in the necropsy report. They agree it's horrible what happened to Hollis, but they've to make sure this does end be again. This is each about Sheila. At the eatery, Cleric tells Sheila it's like there's notoriety or commodity behind this. Tom was turning his life around. Sheila understands that he does and want his musketeer's deaths to be pointless. It's disturbing and woeful, but it's not murder, she insists. At the morgue, Steffi gops, murder Finn explains his mama's interpretation of the necropsy points to this since Tom and Hollis both failed of a medicine overdose. Also, Hollis's death appears suspicious. Finn doesn't want to jump to any conclusions, but he see and deny that the report is concerning. Not only did Hollis overdose, he failed of the same medicine that killed Tom. Steffi gasps, Sheila. Lee nods. Steffi declares that there are no concurrence where Sheila is concerned. Hollis was shocked when Tom failed and now, he has failed the same way. It's minatory. Sheila killed Tom and Hollis. My God. Steffi doesn't know how, but this time one thing is certain. Sheila will pay for her crimes. Lee nods in agreement. Lee Finnegan tampers with necropsy results? The bold and the beautiful spoilers say DR. Lee Finnegan is back on duty this week and supposedly she works in the morgue now. Lee is easily a Jill of all trades, but can anyone trust the necropsy results coming from her? Hopefully she's more at anatomizing bodies than she's at conducting maternity test results. Then's what's coming up next on Bold and the Beautiful, spoilers ahead. The Bold and the Beautiful spoilers, can Lee Finnegan be trusted? Tom Starr and Hollis' suspicious deaths will get the attention of the LAPD. All eyes will be on Lee Finnegan as everyone waits to find out if there's a periodical killer on the loose. The only problem is, BMB observers know that Lee is a high suspect in Tom and Hollis murders, and so is her family Poppy Nozawa. Lee Finnegan is literally the last person on earth who should be collecting substantiation in their deaths. The bold and the beautiful spoilers have been intimating for a while now that Lee Finnegan faked Luna's maternity test to help Poppy hide her baby daddy's true identity. A popular proposition among suckers is that Lee killed Tom Starr to silence him and also had to kill Hollis to cover up the crimes. And, if it was Antley guarding her family, perhaps Poppy did it herself? BNB spoilers, Sheila Carter framed? According to BNB spoilers, by the end of this week, DT Baker will have Sheila Carter in guardianship for the murders. But, is that because Lee Finnegan finds substantiation during the necropsies that points him in that direction? Lee is in a perfect position to throw the police off her and her family's trails. And, Sheila Carter is the perfect goat. Do you suppose Lee will tamper with the necropsy results? Is Lee or Poppy the killer? Partake your studies and propositions in the commentary below and let us know what you suppose. Tom Starr's unanticipated overdose didn't beget concern due to his former struggles with medicines. The police assumed Tom had regressed, but Steffi Forrester communicated Baker to propose that there might be further to the situation.